Hey YouTube, it's me again, the Naturally Creative Mama, and I'm here today just to give you a quick tour of our changing station. Um, we cloth diaper at home, so hopefully this will help anyone who's getting into cloth diapering or who already cloth diapers and is looking for other options for their changing setup. Um, but here we go. We have I have a changing pad here with a homemade uh, cover on there just in case he were to pee or poop. I don't want to have to change the actual changing pad cover all the time. So I have a little cover on top of that that I can just trade out. Um, but I love having that. It's really soft. Uh, it's actually made of minky. So it's soft for him to lay on. Um, then next to that I keep a couple little toys. This is a bracelet teether that I found at Target. Uh, we love these. He loves these. Um, he's working on getting some new teeth, so definitely something I keep close by. Um, then I have a little container, and this is just some coconut oil, which I use if he has a diaper rash or he's starting to get a diaper rash and I want to kind of protect it and stop it from happening anymore. Um, then this is another little teether toy. It's a little giraffe. And this is from an Etsy shop called Banner Toys. Um, I will do a review on some of the products we have from them. But we've been really happy with a lot of the stuff that we've gotten from them. So if you're looking for some natural teethers and toys for your little ones, that's a good place to start. Then I have our wipes warmer. I think this one is from Babies Are Us. It's, a uh, forget the brand, it's Lion something. Um, but what I do is I don't use this top one. I don't open it because the wipes don't come out really easy. But this is what it looks like on the inside. These are all homemade wipes and I will actually have some of these up in my Etsy shop. These are organic Sherpa and those are actually in my Etsy shop right now. It's uh, The name of my Etsy shop is The Mama Shop One, the number one. Um, but I have flannel wipes too and I'm going to have those in my shop starting in just a little bit. For anyone who wants to get some good quality wipes. But what I do is I soak them in my wipe solution, I squeeze out a little bit, I roll them up and I stick them in here because they stay warmer when they're rolled up. And I can get six or seven across depending on how tightly I wrap them up, roll them up, and about three rows high. So I keep anywhere from 18 to 20 wipes or so in there and I usually go through most of them by the time I'm ready to do diaper laundry again. So that's what I do with wipes. And then this is just my homemade uh, wipe solution. They're just little bits that I mix up with some really hot water and then just soak all my wipes in. And I can do, uh, I'll post a recipe for this on my blog, the naturallycreativemama.com. And if you want to make your own, you can. So I love those, they're all natural. So then, this top drawer here is where I keep most of our diapers. Um, we have a lot of thirsties, pocket diapers, I have some homemade diapers, um, there's some Bum Genius in there, another Bum Genius over there. Um, but I keep a lot of the ones that I use really often, I keep in this drawer because it's really easy to get to it. And then on this drawer, I have some of our pre-folds. And these are Green Mountain Diaper pre-folds. Um, or maybe they're clothies. I don't remember. Well, they're one of the two. We use both of them. I have a little hand sanitizer. This is the Honest Company's hand sanitizer. And I love it. I like keeping it here because it's handy when I change diapers. Uh, I have two safety pins that came with some overnight fitted diapers. And then underneath, I keep a couple extra microfiber inserts and some snappies. Snappies are good, but I don't always use them. Sometimes I find it easier just to put the prefold on and stick the diaper on to hold it on instead of using the snappies. So this middle section here has our fitted diapers. This is a homemade fitted diaper. Uh, I need to put snaps on it still, but it's there. And then I have my overnight 
Sustainable Baby-ish, which I love, by the way, and I'm going to post a review for this one uh, a little later on because we've had a chance to really use them, and I love them, and they work awesome. And then some other fitted Sustainable Baby-ish diapers. Uh, these ones aren't as good for overnight, but they still work great. Uh, they don't have snaps on those. And then here I keep all of our covers. Um, again, we have a laundry pail or a diaper pail full of dirty diapers, so I don't have a lot in here right now. And then I keep a disposable wipes container uh, because my husband insists on using those instead of cloth wipes, which drives me a little crazy, but... Um, oh, there's the baby. Um, but, you know, I keep those handy. And then my changing area is actually right next to you, the crib. So there's my little guy. He's just hanging out. Happy little guy. So he's probably going to cry in a sec because I'm going to show you what I do with my dirty diapers. Um, during the day, I usually keep a wet bag here on the dresser just to throw the poopy ones in. Um, sometimes I find it easier just to throw everything in there and then at the end of the day, pardon our mess, the kids make a mess, um, I put them all in our diaper pail which I keep next to the bathroom. Um, I don't have a lot of space in the bedroom to keep it so it just kind of hangs out there in the closet. So, But that is our little changing area, that's what we do for cloth diapering. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Uh, if you want to see videos on um, more of how we cloth diaper, please leave the questions you have in the comments below. And make sure you give the video a thumbs up if you like it. And I will talk to you guys again soon.